I mostly rely on my old soldering iron for soldering electronic components. For soldering through hole components, it works well and mostly reliable. Time to time I want to desolder components from PCBs as well. Although it is good for through hole components, this time I wanted to remove an SMD component from a PCB. And I just quit. I was very frustrated and an idea came to my mind. Can I make a hot air gun out of my soldering iron? First, I unscrewed the part which was holding the soldering iron tip. Then, I removed the soldering iron tip as well. I also removed the cushion grip out of the way to work easier. After that, I removed three screws from my soldering iron. It had an uncommon screw type, which is called trimming screw, and I didn't have any special screwdriver for this job, so I have just used a flat screwdriver for it. Also, I marked on the plastic handle part with a permanent marker, approximately where the metal part ends. After that, I picked up my driller and drilled a hole on the plastic handle part. One important thing I learned is, turning up the angle face to the soldering iron tip side helps the airflow a lot. Then I connected the connector to the handle part. Then I put all the parts back on and screwed them back together. I found a perfectly matching tip from my old random parts box. However, you can just use a small metal pipe which fits to your own soldering iron. It's not that critical. Then, I screwed them back together. After that, I grabbed my hot silicon air gun and I used it to prevent air from escaping. I also wanted to make cable side airtight as well, so I applied a little bit hot silicon to there. I had an aquarium pump laying around, so I connected the hose to the pump. Also, I connected the other side of the hose to the soldering iron. For the first test, I grabbed two cables and wrapped them together, and I put a heat ring on them. Then I started the pump and started heating the heat ring. And I must say, it worked way better than I was expecting it. After first successful test, I moved to the PCB which I wanted to remove some components from. It took a while to heat up, but eventually I was able to remove my first part. And it was really amazing. After removing the first part, I couldn't stop myself and continued desoldering. Just look at my troopies, aren't they pretty? As a last test, I wanted to check if it can solder some SMD parts. First, I applied some solder paste to a breakout board with a flat screwdriver. Solder paste shouldn't need to be placed exactly accurately because surface tension should move it to the correct location eventually. And also I tried to apply solder paste as little as possible, because if you put it too much, it creates so much bridges that you have to rework on them. Then I picked up a part and placed it roughly the place where the footprint on the PCB is. I used my newly made hot air gun on the trial breakout board that I wanted to use. It was a little bit slow compared to a real hot air gun, but it slowly started to melt the solder on it, and after waiting a little bit longer, it melted the solder paste and it started looking shiny as it's supposed to be. 
Result was surprisingly good. I didn't even have one solder bridge on it. Actually, I would call this experiment as a success. What do you think? In the future, if you would like to use it as a soldering iron again, you can just remove the tip and install the original soldering iron tip back on. If you also want to make something similar, make sure that there is no air leakage anywhere, especially on the small pipe that you just attached. If you don't, heat dissipate from there and soldering and desoldering parts will take significantly longer. I realized my tip was leaking air from the sides because it was not fitting properly. After fixing it, it improved a lot. My second tip is, be patient. It takes longer to desolder bigger parts, especially with the assembly components which have big ground planes. For those parts, don't forget to heat up the top of the parts as well. Also, if the PCB itself is heated, it becomes easier to remove the parts. If you want to remove multiple parts at once, remove the closer ones next to each other and save some time. And one of the important things that I learned is that you shouldn't open the pump right away. If you do that, soldering iron takes a lot of time to heat because of the airflow. Just wait for a bit and start the pump later. And here comes the most important question. Will it replace a professional hot air gun? Of course not, you cannot control the temperature or airflow. And also, you can damage some temperature critical parts if you are not careful. However, if you are in a hurry and just want to save the day, you can just try it at your own risk of course. Thanks for watching the video and if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button. Goodbye!